In 2006, Miley Cyrus style was Oshkosh Bagosh business casual. This rewired the way my brain thought of fashion and it even became the blueprint for Disney stars to come. When the Hannah Montana movie dropped and Miley began to make more of a distinction between herself and her Disney character, we saw maturity in her look. A big part of that separation was created by the Walmart fashion line she put out with Max Osria. She released Can't Be Tamed and was really propelling herself towards adulthood and out of her Disney bubble. This is when Miley's street style became very popular and she was everyone's cool big sister. 2012 was the year that Miley's style changed the most. It pushed past the rebellion teen phase and took on this very consciously counterculture essence. Of course, in hindsight, we all see Miley's looks during this time as unexpected, but for the most part, on par with the styles of the time period. They weren't bad, they were just not what people wanted from Miley Cyrus. 2014. Fashion-wise, this was a disappointing era. I don't want to talk too much about right and wrong because honestly, when it comes to art, morality is not that interesting to me personally. And I don't think dissecting cultural appropriation in this case is my place as someone of Caribbean descent. I do believe it's worth noting that this was strategically about making people uncomfortable. And historically, that same motive when applied to fashion has created some incredible moments. But in Miley's case, it mostly just made people cringe. In part two, we'll talk some more about Miley trying to find her true self through style.